Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today we are going to learn about a Six Sigma case study which is on engineering part entry and validation process. In a multinational organization, engineering part data entry was a manual process and it was also validated on the website by the material engineers before they actually enter that data into the company system. So it was a very time consuming and manual intensive task. The company wanted to reduce the cycle time and wanted to reduce the manual efforts. So they collected data for the last six months and it was observed that the part engineering TAT validation takes approximately 34 minutes. So the team took a goal to reduce the cycle time of parts data entry and validation from 34 minutes to 5 minutes by January 2023. The scope of the project was all parts which they are updating in the system, engineering parts, and out of scope is any other process that they are working on. So the timeline, they started this project in August 2022 and they wanted to finish it by January 2023. The sponsors were the vice president of the company, the champion was the associate vice president, project owner was the process manager, and Mohit Sharma is the mentor and there are team members a, B and C which were part of this particular team. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving which talks about Six Sigma concepts and my second book is Continuous Improvement the Lean Way which talks about the lean concepts. Just to explain the high level process map, the data is received as the scanned images the second step was the, that information was read from that image and it was entered into the system and before entering that information into the system they used to validate that information on vendor's website whether the part is available or not available is every data or the detail of the engineering part is correct or not correct and once that information is validated that data was updated in the company system and then the information was sent to the material engineer that okay yes this part has been added now you can procure this part the team did a brainstorming session in which the head of the fish you can see is high turnaround time potential x's which were identified under material were scanned images they were not clear under process the the process was lengthy and it was a manual process with multiple repeated steps under machine it had it issues and search engine to validate the information was old and there were uh, time zone issues under environment. Under people, we had incomplete information from the material engineers, which was given to the associates to enter in the system. There was a knowledge gap of the associates as well. And under method, they had no automation of repeated steps. And that was uh, the problem under method. And the method was not documented in some of the cases. These were all the potential X's which were identified and then team collected data. Now I will take you to Minitab where we will identify with the help of uh, hypothesis testing which of these X's are significant X's out of these potential X's and then the team will work on the solutions. You can look at my Minitab. In this I have data from column C2 to column C7. Data column C2 is the cycle time data which is my project Y data and then I have data on the axis which is in column C3, C4, C5, C6 and C7. So the first step that we have to do is to check whether the cycle time which is the continuous data is actually normal or non-normal. For that we will do a normality test. We will go to stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. In graphical summary under variables, I will enter my cycle time and I will click OK. So this value which is P value which suggests that that it is 0 0.360 which is greater than 0 0.05 and hence my data is normally distributed. Now you can look at the mean. Mean is 32.829 days. So I have to go back and change my goal statement from 34 to 32.829 days. So now my new goal statement would be that I want to reduce my cycle time from 32.829 days to 5 days. 
next thing that we have to do is to identify the axis the data which we have collected is discrete or continuous if you look at these data types they all are discrete in nature so the test that we are going to perform is one way ANOVA test because my y is continuous and my x is discrete to do one way ANOVA test I will go to stat ANOVA and one way in response I will enter cycle time and in factor I will enter associate and I will click OK. Now if you look at this data, the p value is less than 0.05 which indicates that this x is significant x and if you look at the averages of these associates, associate E is 38 and associate A is 38.9. So which means these two are the associates which are taking maximum time. I need to work on these associates. The next X that we are going to test is method documented. If I press Ctrl E, I will reach to the previously used screen in Minitab. And hence under ANOVA, now under factors, I will have to choose the next X which is method documented and click OK. Now if we look at the data, the P value again is less than 0.05 in this case. And hence it is again a significant X. Once the x is significant, you can see the time where the process is documented is less than the time where the processes are not documented. Let's test the another x. For your learning, I will show you the path of one way ANOVA again. I will go to stat, ANOVA and one way. In response, we will have cycle time and in factor, we will have to change the next x, which is the incomplete information. And we will click OK. Now if you look at the data again, it is 0.000 which means it is less than 0.05 the p-value and once it is less than 0.05 means x is significant and if you look at the incomplete information, wherever you have incomplete information as yes, you have high, higher cycle time. So this x also needs to be worked. Likewise, I will press Ctrl E and then I will go to the factor and put the scanned image as the next x and click OK. In this particular x also the p-value is less than 0.05 and hence scanned image is again a significant x and what is the significance that we can draw? Wherever we have unclear images we are taking more time to process. That again becomes the significant x. Now let's go to the last x and test Control e in response, we will have cycle time and in factor, we will have to change the factor to time zone issues and we will have to click OK. And now if you look at the data, the P value here is greater than 0.05, which means this X is not a significant X and hence we don't have to worry about time zone issues. Likewise, there are other axes which we can test, but for the purpose of this learning, I am stopping here. The more data you collect, better it is for you. Now let's get back to our slides and see what are the solutions that have been implemented for these identified significant axes. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is 8 Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way which talks about the lean concepts. As you have noticed that these are the five axes which are identified as significant axes. Associate, what they did was they trained these associates A and E as they were new in the system and they were creating more errors and they were also allocated as buddies for better mentorship. Method documented was another significant X they created the process documents wherever they are not available and they also created a change control log and they also maintained it. Whenever there is a change in the process, they had to put that in the change control log. Incomplete inputs from the material engineers, which was another significant X. So they created a web form with mandatory fields and now they also coached material engineers on how to fill this form. Unclear scanned images. They created service level agreements for the vendors scanning the invoices and those SLAs were on the quality of the invoice and the timeliness of the invoice. When are they updating that? The process was lengthy was another significant X. They revalidated the process and eliminated non value added activities 
and they automated the repeated steps with the help of robotic process automation. So some of that work has been eliminated with the help of automations. It is also very important to control the improved state and to see that we have created a control chart. I have my data of before project cycle time in column number C8. I have also added data after we have made the improvements in the project below this. So you can see in column C8, I have first the before cycle time data and then when we go down, we have entered the after cycle time data as well. How to create a control chart? We will use IMR control chart in this case because my Y is continuous and I have taken one data point from each subgroup. So for this, I will go to stat control charts and variable charts for individuals. In that, I will go to IMR chart. Under variables, I will enter CT data and in IMR options, I will enter in stages, I will enter status data and I will click OK and OK. So this is the kind of control chart that you will get. In this, you can see this is the before cycle time and this is the after cycle time. After cycle time is 4.84 now and the before cycle time was 32.83. And you can also see the variation has also reduced. The range has gone down from earlier it was 5.3 and now it is 0.64. It means both the variation as well as the mean they have reduced and we have achieved our goal. So friends, with the help of uh, this particular improvements that the team has implemented team was able to reduce that time from 34 days to 5 days as i have shown that in the control chart as well so the team was able to reduce it and it saved a lot of manual effort they were able to reduce five full-time employees from the process and the material engineers were also very happy they got their feedback and they were very happy with the new process so that is it for today i will see you in my next upcoming video till then keep learning Bye bye